York. I move. I must admit. I move. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Fifth Avenue Coffee Talk. My name is Christine Caterbeck and I am a Redken educator. And so you are on Fifth Avenue Coffee Talk. So today I wanted to talk to you about homemade versus store bought. So I have some very favorite homemade items, right? Uh, for instance, I, I, do, I will have to say most of my um, homemade things that I really, really like, not gonna lie, involves food, right? So um, cookies, oh my gosh, there is nothing better than chocolate chip cookies that come right out of the oven, right? And apple pie, oh my goodness, the smell of homemade apple pie when it's cooking, I mean, it just fills the house, right? Oh my gosh, absolutely wonderful. Um, homemade hamburgers. Oh my gosh, you can make those really thick, juicy hamburgers, right? As opposed to what we get from some fast food restaurants where you're kind of opening up the bun going, where's the beef, right? What happened to them? So yeah, there's a lot of really good things that are homemade that I absolutely love. How about you? Comment down below what your favorite homemade item is. Mmm, hmm, peanut butter cookies? Ah, yeah, you can tell. I, I'm kind of like a foodie kind of person. So, but there are also some things that maybe homemade, uh, yes, hi, Christina, yeah, absolutely. Cookies, oh, pasta, oh my gosh, homemade pasta. Spaghetti sauce, oh, I have this mean recipe for homemade spaghetti sauce that, yeah, I can't have spaghetti sauce out of a jar. I'm sorry, it has to be homemade, right? I love homemade things, but there are some things that homemade just, like for instance, clothes. <laughs> now, I'm sure for some people, homemade clothes are really, really nice because maybe you know how to sew, right? Me, on the other hand, I could probably sew, but yeah, you don't really wanna see me walking around sporting some homemade outfit, right, that I that I put together on the sewing machine. So in that aspect, for me, store-bought is always gonna be better. Good morning, Crystal. So shoes, right? Homemade shoes. Okay, so homemade shoes to me would be um, maybe taking a liter of um, pop and smooshing it down and tying it around my foot, right? I don't know, but shoes, definitely better in uh, store-bought, right? So basically, yes, there are a lot of things that we really, really like when they're homemade. But there are some times where store-bought is actually going to be better. You know, and when I think of hair products, I think I always go store-bought, right? Because to me, the store-bought, it is precisely measured. Um, now, let me rephrase that. Salon-bought, okay? Most definitely. If you are a consumer, um, and you go to a stylist, most definitely trust your stylist with your hair. Um, trust her to recommend the right products for you and purchase those products in the salon because it's in that salon environment that those professional products are proven. Those professional products are what is going to help you maintain your hair in the way that it should. And nobody knows your hair better than your stylist, right? So most definitely always talk to your stylist before um, uh, purchasing any type of product and purchase it from that salon as well. So um, back to homemade versus store-bought, right? Okay. We have just recently launched, ta-da! First of all, this, if you have tried the Blondage shampoo and conditioner, throw me up some hearts if you're loving it. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I did without this. I absolutely love it. I love the toning it gives me. 
Um, all of my blondes, my daughter, she's very blonde, got her hooked on it as well. Yeah, absolutely. The shampoo and the conditioner. But we also just launched our vinegar rinse. And so probably the biggest question that I'm getting is why should I buy a store-bought vinegar rinse when I can use apple cider vinegar at home, right? Okay, so here's the skinny on the apple cider. Uh, yes, it's been used for a very long time, right? Now, apple cider vinegar, whenever it comes to your hair, okay, uh, we have what is called a pH scale. Hair lives typically at a 4.5 to 5.5 pH. The further you go on the alkaline side, the more caustic it becomes um, to your hair, your skin, and what have you. And the further you go on the acidic side, the more caustic it becomes as well. Apple cider vinegar lives on the acidic side of the pH scale. So if you were to take a little um, strip that you can check the pH of different things, this would definitely live on the acidic side. Now, whenever we are, um, say, making our homemade vinegar, apple cider vinegar rinse, we have to mix it with some water. First of all, the water that typically you're using, if you're using it straight from the tap, it definitely has some um, other minerals, chemicals, you know, chlorine added to it, right? Uh, if you live in a section where maybe there's well water, there's definitely going to be some minerals in there. So that is going to also kind of play a part with the uh, apple cider vinegar. The other thing is, is if you don't mix it in the correct ratio, it can actually be caustic. So what that means is it can be very um, irritating to the skin, um, to the scalp, and you know, depending on you know your sensitivity, you can actually get like a little bit of a burn, right? So most definitely um, in this aspect, store-bought is always going to win out, okay? What's nice about the store-bought, the Color Extend Vinegar Rinse, okay? So this, yes, it has apple cider vinegar in it, but it is mixed in a, um, uh, a precise way where it's not too much apple cider, so there's not going to be any kind of, you know, um, caustic reaction to it. Uh, but it also it has citric acid in it. And that citric acid also plays a huge role in this product. The citric acid is actually going to help strengthen your hair. So it's not only going to equalize out or balance out the pH of your hair, but it's also going to help strengthen. Now, the nice thing about the apple cider vinegar rinse, the Redken vinegar rinse, is the smell. You do not smell like a salad after you do this. It actually has a really nice fragrance to it. You can pick up a hint of that apple cider vinegar, but nothing like you would smell like if you did a homemade one. If you did a homemade one, you're definitely smelling like salad for a while. Hi Yvonne, how are you? So most definitely store-bought is going to be better. Now we do recommend that you add the Redken apple cider uh, vinegar rinse, the color extend vinegar rinse, to your weekly regimen. So what that means is that you would use this once a week. This is considered a treatment. Okay, so we have just added a new treatment into our portfolio. So this can be used once a week and it is applied. Uh, we have this really nice nozzle that you just loosen up the nozzle and I'm going to close it back up since my hair is not wet. Typically you would shampoo uh, and condition and we recommend either using the Color Extend Magnetics or the new Blondage if, you're ha if you have blonde hair. And all you do is you take the nozzle and you're just going to squeeze very gently and you're going to run that nozzle on the scalp of your hair. 
this on your scalp and then you're gonna take it and work it through the rest of your hair and you're gonna leave it on for three to five minutes and then you would rinse it. It's going to balance out the pH of your hair. It's going to add incredible shine. It's also gonna add smoothness. And the nice thing about the vinegar rinse, the store-bought, the color extend, or I, I keep saying store-bought, I need to say salon-bought, um, color extend vinegar rinse, is that it also gives a gentle cleansing. So really, I mean, it's if you have flaky scalp issues, this is a great product to utilize for that as well. So if you like what you're hearing, give me some thumbs up, throw up some hearts. If you've tried the new vinegar rinse, the Color Extend Vinegar Rinse, I wanna know what you think about it. Type it in the comments, okay? So there's a few different ways that you can use the Color Extend Vinegar Rinse. First of all, you can shampoo and condition like I said, we recommend the Color Extend Magnetics or the um, Blondage in, uh, if you have blonde hair. So you can shampoo, you can condition, and then you can use the vinegar rinse. That is the typical way. So that vinegar rinse is going to give you extra brightening. It's going to just really make your color very radiant. Um, and it's, it's gonna just definitely smooth everything down. Plus it's gonna to help to strengthen because it has that citric acid in there. But there's a couple other options too. You can take and you can utilize the shampoo and then the vinegar rinse in place of your conditioner. So if your guest is, hi Heather, if your guest is that person that says, oh, my hair is really, really fine, I do not like to use uh, conditioner on the hair. Hi, Karen. Uh, I don't like to use conditioner. It weighs my hair down. Yeah, no, uh -uh, I don't want that. This can be utilized in place of the conditioner. So they would shampoo, then they would take, gently squeeze this on. And when I say gently squeeze, this is very liquidy. I don't know if you can kind of see it moving around in there. It's very liquidy, so you don't need to squirt it out like you're squirting out a fire hose, okay? Just very gently squeeze it and work it all the way down through the scalp and then work it through. So this way they get um, a, some additional gentle cleansing, um, especially for the scalp. Anybody that has a flaky scalp, this is gonna be most definitely great for. Now, the other way that you can use that, use the Color Extend Vinegar Rinse, is if you want to, you can use this in place of a shampoo and then use your conditioner. So when would we do that? Well, if you have a guest that says, well, you know, I get in the shower every morning, I wet my hair down, but I don't like to shampoo it every day. This would be good. Uh, I go to the gym and, you know, I, after I'm done working out, I'm all sweaty. I, I hate to be washing my hair every day because I really want my color to stay nice and vivid and nice and bright. This would be great for that person too. Um, I just need some, a little extra gentle cleansing on my scalp, but you know, I don't want anything really harsh because you know, I just definitely want that little extra cleansing. That would be good. Uh, even if there again, I always come back to that flaky scalp because especially in the winter time, most definitely, uh, you know, we tend to get a little drier, at least, you know, in my area in Cleveland, we tend to get a little bit drier, the air is drier. In the summer, we have a little bit more humidity. But in the summer, we work outside, um, we maybe get a little more sweaty, and so we might not want to shampoo every single day. So this would be good where you can use this and then use the conditioner. So yes, homemade is always good. But it depends on what it is. Food, whew, all the way. Homemade is always going to be better. Um, clothes, mm, yeah, maybe not for me. I'm not a sewer. So, but when it comes to your hair product, trust 
the products that you use. Stylists out there, you know Redken has is very trustworthy. The product that we put out is um, always the newest and most up-to-date innovation. And so most definitely, you know, I know somebody has a guest that they can recommend this to. It's a great treatment to add to their weekly regimen. And if you, again, are a consumer and you go into the salon to have your hair done, make sure you ask your stylist by name for the Redken Color Extend Vinegar Rinse just to add more shine, smooth out that cuticle, bring that pH back down to that optimum level, and um, just do that gentle uh, cleansing. You will absolutely love it. So I hope you enjoyed this version of Fifth Avenue Coffee Talk. I hope you had some time to maybe sit back, put your feet up, enjoy a cup of coffee like I am. And I do want to mention that I have out on my timeline in Facebook as well as on Instagram, I have listed a flyer for some educational opportunities via digital. So most definitely look for that. I have a summer schedule. It will be every other Friday for those digital classes. So if you are interested in any of the topics that are listed on that flyer, most definitely RSVP to me and I will make sure that you get the meeting ID number so that you can join the class as well. I look forward to seeing you guys in the digital class and I hope that you have an absolute fabulous day. If you have any other questions at all about either the um, blondage, oh, love it, or the Color Extend Vinegar Rinse, most definitely put it in the comments. I will look at every single comment and I will respond back. So until next week, I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Enjoy the beautiful weather and drink lots of coffee. So talk with you soon. Thanks for having me. Hi, Monique, how are you? Have a great afternoon. Don't worry, this will be posted to my YouTube channel. Christine Caterbeck, as well as it's going to be posted to my Facebook feed. So I will see you soon. Until then, have a great week. Thanks. Bye.